All right, hi everyone. My name is John. Today I'm going to be presenting to you like a cool little headset that I don't think a lot of people know about that DRH has. So this is the HoloLens 2. It's an augmented reality headset developed by Microsoft. It runs a version of Windows 10. But it's actually a pretty cool piece of technology that people can use. My head is too big. I'll try this on later. But I'm going to be showing you what it does, how you can use it, and ways that this is actually really cool for students. So we'll cut to that take right now. Okay, so... I'm now in the headset, everyone can see what I'm seeing now. To engage it, you're just going to put your hand out and you're going to see a little Windows logo. You're just going to press it and then a little screen pops on. Now, there's a lot of things in the HoloLens 2. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate, which is my favorite, is actually the Graffiti 3D app. Now, what it does is it lets you draw in the middle of space, which is really cool. So we're just going to load it up. Now let's say, for example, I'm doing some of my studies. Hello me. I'm just doing some stuff here. I'm writing and I don't have a computer accessible, but I happen to have the $6,000 headset next to me. I know it's really expensive. Um, I can actually draw while doing my work. So I'm just going to put my hand out right here. And let's say I'm going to choose freehand and I'll choose the color red. Now let's say this is my surface. I'm going to take my hands out right here. And I'm going to put this box here to start. And I'm going to start drawing. So I'm just going to pinch. And I can start drawing some lines. Now you can do it with just one hand and pull stuff out. And the thing I like about this is you really gain an understanding of things from a very volumetric sense. So let's say you're not that good at modeling curves, but you can draw it. It's really cool. Like I can start filling stuff out. I can also do diagrams like I can pull out and point here and say box which is really cool. Well that's not a box but yeah you see what I mean. Now in order to use this app you have to pinch to pull. If you just do this nothing happens and then you can also erase so I'll press erase or I can press grab so you can actually grab lines so I'm just gonna grab it and see I can pull stuff out and readjust which is really cool now this is obviously not going to be as accurate as Rhino or SketchUp but let's say you just want to create ideas really fast this is a really cool piece of tech that you can work with very nice okay now apart from the drawing app you also have the ability to access the internet so I'm gonna press all apps again and I'm gonna go to well I wish it was Google but um, we're just going to use Microsoft Edge and just like any computer you can type within the HoloLens itself I'm just gonna let this load let me just readjust this now let's see I'm gonna press the screen and I'll just let things load. Now the only thing about this is it's a little bit finicky sometimes, so I'm gonna readjust, which is really cool. I like this feature for adjusting. And I'm just gonna Google the R H or whatever whatever that is, and I'm just gonna press search. So the cool thing about this is let's say you're doing your studies. No one else can see you doing your work. You can just press stuff and you can browse the internet, which is really cool. Oh, I'm just going to exit, so I'm just going to leave that. But yeah, this is the stuff that the HoloLens 2 can do. It's really nice. There's obviously a lot of other stuff, but this is just a quick example of the things that you can do with the HoloLens 2. Very nice.